Hey, welcome back to another exciting adventure. This is truly epic. So I'm going to be making well over 100 bargees for an event. And what you see before you, look at the thickness of those tomatoes, plenty of chopping, and even a little bit of a cut finger. Oh, poor boy. So six kilo of onion cut in half and then cut lengthways so you get like circular half slivers. Two kilo of ground flour. 13 eggs, we've got a bowl full of dried or pre-fried onions from a packet to give a really great texture. We're going to be using the juice of three lemons. We've got 400 gram of rice flour. And then what rice flour does, if you're not eating these immediately, I doubt anybody will be able to eat over 100 barges actually, rice flour keeps things crisp. So you add a little bit of rice flour in, and it keeps it crisp. We've got a bunch of coriander, coarsely chopped. We've got 30 green chilies, coarsely chopped. We've got three ounces or approximately 100 grams of finely chopped ginger. And that's going to add a really great taste. So you can see the prep. It's all in the prep. Once you've done the prep, it's all simple. So we've got the same quantity of garlic puree. We've got about two ounces or about 60 gram of coriander seed that have been pounded with a pasta and mortar just so they're not whole and it gives a really nice aromatic uh, flavor now this is really interesting as well fresh turmeric about 30 gram of fresh turmeric blended with some water and you're going to see the color that brings out so let's get to the really interesting stuff now the spices so about 60 gram of red chili powder 60 gram of black mustard seed, 60 gram of fennel, about 40 gram of kasuri mati, about so two ounces or about 60 gram of everything, including the salt. Apart from the coriander, which is a bit more generous, we've got about 70 gram there, so about two and a bit ounces. So let's get uh, this on the go. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some dasi ghee into the mix as well um, 100 gram gives a nice flavor and helps crisp up and let's not forget two and a half liters of vegetable oil for de deep frying so i've got a large container obviously with the onions and i just can't say simpler than add all the ingredients Let's come back once that's happened. So in with the lemons, crack all your eggs. That took a moment. So finally, the fresh turmeric, and it doesn't look as bright as it's going to be, trust me. So what I'm going to do is get this into the garden. I don't want to splash all that turmeric over the kitchen, and I'm going to get my hands in, very hands-on, and I'm going to mix everything round until we've got a nice, even amazing batter that we're going to fry up into balls so we'll come back in a couple of minutes so there we go i did put the ghee in after i'd given it a mix so it's all combined and i've just let it settle now for like five minutes just to marinate temporarily if you like so let's get our oil heated up slotted spoon and paper towel at the ready so just two little tips do remember to reclaim or recycle your oil, so do save your vegetable containers because this is going to be seasoned. Not as good as my um, seasoned oil on the channel by any means, but you're not going to waste this oil. And another tip, when you're shaping your barges, always have a, a bowl of water to clean off your hands and it helps shape the balls. Every now and then your hands are going to get really sticky and it will become complicated. So dip your hands in water regularly and uh, just waiting for that oil to heat up and another little tip if you're a man do have your windows open get plenty of ventilation in your kitchen to stop your missus going on to you and if you're a woman cooking your husband is not going to object or your boyfriend so when you get some heat coming off just grab a strand of your onions and Throw it in and if it rises to the top of the oil in a couple of seconds, you know your oil's hot enough. So not quite. So we'll come back in about a couple of minutes and get that oil. You don't want it too hot, but you don't want it too low in temperature either. Just right. 
So, oil's hot enough. So I want them about golf ball size. So here we go. Cook them in batches. The more bargees or anything you're frying goes into oil, the lower the temperature goes and you want it on a nice even heat. So I'm going to cook them about seven at a time approximately. So once I've got my seven, I'm going to turn them around and make sure they're all nicely coated in the oil and um, crispy and all that type of thing. So we'll come back once the first back. So they're looking great. Make sure you give them a good turn once they start floating and then it's just about the colour you want. I didn't use too much gram flour so everything cooks through properly. So think frying onions when it comes to timing. I'm not going to give a timing. I'm not sure how hot your oven's going to be. That type of thing. So there you go. Have a look at that. Let's zoom in. I'm using a different camera today. So that's looking great. So that's the first batch. I'm really looking forward to getting this done. I'm going to come back when all a hundred or more are cooked. There it is. I really enjoyed that, but I'm really glad it's finished. So let's have a look. And they're nice and crispy and great. So they're going to be accompanied with coriander chutney and uh, mint rioter. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share and subscribe.